Absolute value equations. Let's do some harder ones. First up, this one. I need to isolate the absolute value before I apply the two case rule. Rule? Property. Well, here we see that first we need to get rid of the 12, and then we need to divide by that minus 2. Here we go. So we subtract the 12 off each side, and left on the left side, I'm left with a minus 2 times the absolute value of x plus 6, and then that's going to be equal to, wait for it, 4 minus 12 is minus 8. Great. Wait. So now do we distribute in that minus 2? SMH. I looked it up on the internet. It means shaking my head. You will never, ever, 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 ever distribute into the absolute value. But it worked for me this one time. It was luck. Try it this time. You ain't gonna get it. And here we go. I need to isolate the absolute value. I do not distribute inside. So I divide both sides by that minus 2. So then I have the absolute value of x plus 6 that's equal to 4. Sure. So now we break it up into the two cases. One more the stuff. x plus 6 is equal to 4. Or the opposite of the stuff. x plus 6 is equal to a minus 4. Finish him. So you subtract the 6 off both sides and you see that x is going to be a minus 2. Ooh. Or x is equal to a minus 10. Then, get it! You go and you throw this up into the original and you see if it works out. Next, we'll come over here. But first, we have to see what absolute value on absolute value action is. Absolute value on absolute value. Let's see what happens. So we take this and we break it up into its two cases. We say that A is equal to the absolute value of K, or A is equal to minus the absolute value of K. Okay. Next, we take this and we break that up into its two cases. We say that A is equal to K, or K is equal to the opposite of A. Okay, now let's go and let's get this. Uh-oh, I need to isolate that absolute value. Absolutely. So then I move that to the other side. And we say that minus A is equal to the absolute value of K. Okay, that ain't gonna happen. Because the, oh, well, that's just some stuff, so it could happen. Let's, let's carry on. Let's break that into its two cases. Either minus a is equal to k, or the opposite, a is equal to k. Okay, so now let's look at our solution set. This says a is equal to k. Uh-huh. Or, why don't we just say a is equal to minus k. And then this one says a is equal to minus k. And then that one says a is equal to k. Okay. I had to say it was a good day. I didn't even have to use my AK. Wait a minute. Two of these are the same. So we can handle this scenario by pretend man and you can pretend like one of those absolute values isn't there. So you can say that A is equal to K or A is equal to the opposite of K. And now we can proceed with our example. So you mean to tell me that I just pretend like that one's not there? Yes. Pretend like that absolute value is not there. So then, it's like, like, saying the absolute value of 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 4. If you do it like this, it'll be okay. We just showed you it's gonna be okay. Okay, so then I break it up into its two cases. One where 2x plus 1 is equal to an x minus 4, or 2x plus 1 is equal to a minus x minus 4. Yeah, I need to negate that entire side. So then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna solve them both down. 
here, I got X's on both sides. Want them on one side. Which side do you care? Left siders. I subtract off an X. And that's how I got an X plus a 1 is equal to a minus 4. Finish him. X turns out to be a minus 5. Now that's just one of your answers. Let's go get the other one. This one, right here. Oot, oot. And I heard that that changed the sign of everything on the inside, and that's a minus X mm, plus 4. Oh, sure. I didn't do anything to this side. Leave it alone. Now I got X's on both sides, one of them on one side. Which side? Don't care. Left side? Sure. So then I add that. It's got some screws loose. So then I add that X to both sides, and you have a 3X plus 1 is equal to 4. I subtract off that 1 from both sides, and I have 3X is equal to a 3. Bam! Nice numbers. I made this one up too. Should have been dirty. So then this says X is equal to 1. All right. One little curly box. This says minus 5 or 1 are solutions. But if you don't believe me, check it. Throw it back up in there. Minus 5, that's a minus 10 plus 1 is 9. And then that might, that's 9. Yes. Does the other one work? 2 plus 1 is 3. And minus... Yes! No! Ah, box and flower.